a new year, same big appetites and starting the year closed. Uh, so we're hoping we can offset those costs because we don't know when we're going to get to be open again. Well, normally the cost to feed the animals here at the Toronto Zoo is covered in part by revenues from admission. But of course, during the COVID pandemic, when things have looked like this at the front gate for months, other streams of revenue have to be created. We're seeking the public support so we can continue delivering that amazing care, uh, those amazing diets and that first uh, class animal experience even though our guests aren't around. We're so disappointed to get shut down over the Christmas holidays. That's traditionally a huge time where families come together and enjoy our zoo. Um, but again, doing our part to flatten the curve, we're closed. And that means really that revenue that comes from ticket sales, from parking, uh, from our food services is all gone. And you're looking at around $100,000 a month. You know, these animals have highly, highly specified diets. So we meet all their needs preparing 430 diets a day. And um, needless to say, that takes a lot of resources and, um, and a significant amount of funding. So we're grateful for our community coming in, supporting our zoo and helping offset that lost parking revenue. Is there any plan in sight as far as when you can reopen? So we're gonna continue to uh, follow the leadership from the province, from the city. Um, you know, we'd love to be open again soon. You know, March is just around the corner. March breaks a key time for families to get out uh, and, and celebrate the spring with us. Um, but like everyone else, uh, we're waiting and we're taking every precaution we can. A, to look after our staff. B, protect our animals. And of course, once we open, protect our guests and our community and making sure we're all doing our part to flatten the curve. To find out the ways that you can support the zoo's nutrition program, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. At the Toronto Zoo, Audra Brown, City News.